Hey everyone, this video is going to show you how you could create your own Google site template and how to be able to send it out to your students by having them uh, create duplicate copies. Now I know we're really used to being able to create a uh, Google Classroom, make an assignment, giving a doc or sheet or slide and then having it duplicate this way. Sites are a little bit different story. They have a little bit more uh, more to them than, uh, than a doc, but I'm sure at one point they're going to make this change. But until then, uh, what you can do is you could create any sort of template that you would like to use when it comes to um, when it comes to Google Sites. So uh, as simple as this is you could design however you want. You give notes like saying student name, so a student knows that's where they type their name, about me, some directions. They even have areas where you could even add um, you know layouts so you don't have to be like really good at creating layouts but you could even just create these layouts where students can actually add images or something from their drive I mean calendars it's pretty nice that they have added these resources here so um, you could design your pages however you want and then add some of the information giving our students some direction on what they can do and then add as many pages you want when it comes to giving student directions on what they can add. So th items like uh, areas regarding the subjects that they're learning about, their own interests, growth, you could even add something where students could add, you know, how are they growing when it comes to how they're scoring and map testing over the year. So giving our students an electronic portfolio to work on th at um, any time. So you could design it however you want. And then the students could redesign it because they want to make it look more uh, customizable to themselves. That's great. So how now the first step is done. Portfolio, I've created my site. How do I get these to my kids? Well first you want to do is make sure the permissions are set. So go to the little share guy right up on top and then make sure where it says draft change it to uh, anyone with a link. I think right now it would be off so I'm just going to do that so that that is set. Now keep in mind by doing that and giving that link to students that is giving them the ability to edit. It's okay. You just create a template. All you want to do is make sure that you are creating a template where students can now make their own duplicate copies. So we're going to be okay. So now all you need to do is go to Google Classroom, create an assignment, right? So create an assignment and put this information in. So something like giving some direction on what they're going to do. Um, let me even edit this so like a this is what it'll look like, right? So uh, it's ungraded, so you just want to give students access to that port, that site. You want to add it as a link, so go to that link, and you would just copy this link, right? Let me get rid of this one. Paste it right here. There we go, and this hit save. So now I have created a little assignment for my kids called Portfolio Site for them to grab from. Let me use a demo student at how they now could duplicate that themselves. All right, so now I am a student view. So I'm going to click on the assignment that was created. Um, I'm not creating from here, and we're used to using that. We are actually going to go right to that portfolio site that was created by me. There it is. All right, so now all I need to do as a student, very simple. I'm going to go to those three dots right here. I am going to go to duplicate sites. Uh, here you want to give it a name so copy of portfolio doesn't really work right so I'm just going to put my name obviously you probably want your kids to put their first and last name as their file name but they can call whatever they want it's going to automatically save to their Google Drive right and you could even have it set share with the same editors which means on the original file that you've created it's also going to be shared with the teacher as well so the teacher could have access to those files so they don't have to go looking for it so if I press OK, it is now going to copy. This takes a few minutes, so we'll be right back. All right, so once it makes the copy, what you'll do is you'll notice that you are still on the portfolio, the, uh, the test one, the template that was sent out to the students. So you want your students to do is you want them to immediately close that. You want them to go to their Google Drive and on the duplicate file that they've created. So the one I created for myself, I labeled my name Eric. So I'm going to open that file up. And here I could get rename the name of this is the file name. I could rename the website name as well. So now it'll say Eric up on top on the top tab right there. Okay. And also I could now start working on my whatchamacallit, my own ePortfolio. And we'll notice right away that this file now 
is my own template it doesn't affect the teacher template and I know that for many different reasons one my name's on it the file name on top is my name as well as the website name is my name as well